Hey everybody, welcome to another workout with Ryan. I hope you're having a great day. It's about to get even better. We're about to get breathing, feeling. I mean, think about how lucky we are, how graceful we are to be able to move. And I know a lot of times, I know that may sound a certain way, a lot of times I'm like, I don't care. I mean, think about a time where you think that you've wanted to work out and then you're like, oh, I don't want to move my body, I'm tired, I want to sit, I've been working all day. I mean, that's a lot of times, right? But what I have to do to remind myself is say, hey, I'm able to move. I woke up today, I can move my arm, I can breathe, I can step forward. There's millions of uh, reactions and contractions that go on for me to take one step. Think about someone that, think about people that get paralyzed. There's a reason why that happens. The brain controls so much, we are so lucky and so awesome that all of our bodies work and function for us to be able to move. We take things for granted like one step, but there's so much more than we can fathom going on just to move a little bit. So think about how beautiful and how worthy your body is to work for you, that you're able to move, you're able to uh, make something happen, you're able to grab a cup and drink some water. So my point is, is your body works for you, give it back some love, give yourself some love because you are able to do so much. There's millions of things that go on just for you to move. So that's how much power we all have, that's how much power you have. I'm gonna step off my pedal stool and we're gonna jump right into the warm up. So we're gonna start with high knees. High knees, I'm either bringing my knees to my hands or I can just go off to arm opposite leg as I do the high knees. We can either do more of a step variation or we can go into fast high knees, more of a switch step variation. So let's go ahead and start. We'll just go in place in three, two, one. Like I said, either go with hands. You can control how high you go. Just do whatever is comfortable, whatever works, or you're going into step. So really working as I go. I don't want to lean too far back. I also don't want to lean too far forward. Just straight up. Just moving the arms and legs. Let's speed it up. And relax. Awesome, y'all. Getting a good warm up there. High knees is one of the more challenging ones. Getting your heart rate up, activating those muscles. Then we're going to move into reverse lunge, three each side. So I step back, drop this knee, reset up tall. Step back, drop this knee, reset up tall. Again, kind of like the high knees, I want to be going opposite arm, opposite leg here. Three each side, then we'll move into plank for 20 seconds on our elbows. And then we're going to end it with two shoulder taps. So just a quick core activation here. I'm already breathing, my muscles are already warm. Now we're gonna add it all together. Knees come up, hips come up, press the ground all the way through the elbow, timer start. Really press the ground away with the elbow, staying stable. Depending on how wide your feet are, again, you're kind of playing with that base of support. So find what works with you. Bring your belly button towards your spine. Don't let your hips be too low or too high. Three, two, one, hold it, we're gonna get two shoulder taps. So flat, uh, tap the other side, tap, 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 ooh, we are done. Just got a little bit of single arm plank variation there with those taps. Our core is ready, our heart rate is ready, our body is ready, millions of things just went on, and they're all happening for you. So keep track of that. You guys are awesome, you're always more awesome than you think. I have to remind myself of that too. No matter what is going on, millions of things are going on for you. So I'll see you in the workout.